When you create a dessert, you have the culinary license to make any creation that you want to. And that is exactly what I did with this week's recipe. Fudge brownie salted caramel trifle. It's gorgeous layers of fudgy brownie, cream, caramel mousse and a beautiful salted caramel sauce. Trifles are so easy to make and they're all about the layering of great flavors rather than a lot of cooking and baking. So let's get started. Our first layer is my amazing homemade fudge brownies. The brownies give great texture to your trifle and the fudgier the better. The next layer is my favorite, the salted caramel sauce, which will also be the base for your mousse. In a heavy bottom saucepan, add in your sugar and just enough water to cover it. On a low heat, let the sugar dissolve in the water, but do not let it boil. From this point, do not put any utensils in your caramel or it will crack. Have a bowl of water and a pastry brush close by. Brush down any sugar granules that are on the side of your pot. This will keep your caramel from cracking. You'll start to see the caramel change color into a gorgeous dark nutty brown. The caramel will cook fast, so do not walk away from it at any point. When your caramel has turned a beautiful dark brown, but is not burning, whisk in your butter and stand back. So now that all the butter has dissolved, we're going to add in our cream. Stand back a little bit more as well because it'll bubble up. Turn off the heat and add in your salt. And then set aside your caramel sauce to cool. And then we'll come back to it later when we're making the mousse. One of the layers of the trifle is whipped cream. So we're going to whip three cups all together and we're going to keep half for the caramel mousse and then half for the layers. To make the salted caramel mousse, we're going to beat a pound of cream cheese on its own in the mixer with a K paddle. Beat it until the cream cheese is soft and you don't see any lumps. Now that our cream cheese is nice and soft, we're going to add in two tablespoons of sugar, a tisp of vanilla extract, the best part, one cup of the gorgeous caramel sauce that you made earlier. Now cream these all together until nice and smooth. So we're going to introduce a little bit of the whipped cream into the caramel. You just add in a tiny bit and what it does is it loosens up the mix that you're adding it to to then be able to add the rest of it. So then just fold in the rest of your whipped cream and that makes it nice and light and fluffy. Once your cream is folded in, taste it. Oh, it tastes great. Oh my gosh. There's a nice bit of tang from the Philadelphia cream cheese. Nice and salty from the sauce and creamy from the cream. Mmm, that's so good. Our salted caramel mousse is set. Our brownies are cool. Our chocolate, our caramel, our cream ready to go. So we're going to start layering up our trifle. Start by crumbling your lovely homemade brownies into the dish. Okay, if we're going to get through this, we're going to have to start speeding things up. So crumble around your brownies. Drizzle over your beautiful salted caramel sauce. Spoon it around the edges of the bowl so people can see what's in there. Put a nice big spoonful of your salted caramel mousse and spread it all the way out to the sides. Generously drizzle your chocolate sauce all over. This will add an extra rich layer. Add a nice big dollop of whipped cream. And again, push it all the way out to the layers so everybody can see what's in there. Again with another layer of brownie. Now don't be shy. More salted caramel, salted caramel mousse. Keep on building. Finish your trifle with a nice big dollop of freshly whipped cream. I like to sprinkle more brownies on top just in case you didn't get enough inside. And generously drizzle your sauces all over. Look how beautiful that is. It looks amazing. If that big trifle is a little too much for you to handle, you can also make individual trifles in ice cream glasses. Not as big, but still very bold. If you like this recipe, you're going to love my other videos. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you back here again next Thursday for more bigger, bolder baking. Now let's dig in. Oh my God, it's really good. It's really good.